Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today, I'm gonna talk about the shape and the placement of blusher. First of all, there are basic face shapes that are egg, round, long, square, inverted triangle, and heart. In addition to these face types, there are a variety of slightly different face types. It seems that blush makeup is in vogue these days. Depending on the placement and shape of the blusher, I'll take some time which blusher suits each face type the best. First, an egg shape face. An x ray face is one with nearly no visible cheekbones and chin bone protrusion and is held as the ideal face shape. In fact, x ray face looks good no matter where and how you apply the blush, so I'm gonna skip the x ray face. Round shape face The middle part of the face is short, the forehead itself is relatively narrow, and the jawline is soft. Since the face is round, it's good to apply the blush to make the face look slimmer to compensate for this part. The point is to apply it slightly below the cheekbones as if to cover them. If the sides of your face are too round and if you're concerned about it, you can make it look slimmer by emphasizing vertical lines with blusher. If the blusher is applied horizontally or centered on the outside, the sides of the face may appear wider and rounder, so it's better to avoid horizontal blushing. At this time, when the central part is short and has a protruding chin and cheekbones, it's the square shape face. If you have a face shape where your cheekbones can stand out and your face has angular lines, it's better to cover the wide cheek area. And it's also my face shape. If you have an angular square face shape, blush your cheeks from the inside of the face to the outside and apply it widely so that it doesn't look spread outward and gather inward so that the chin does not stand out. It's best to use products that can express colors as subtly as possible since you can naturally disperse the gaze. It's also good to apply in a circle on the apple zone, under the eyes, and on the front cheekbones. If you have an angular face but your cheekbones are a bit prominent, it's much more natural to apply the blush below your cheekbones rather than on them. Next is the long face shape. This face shape has the cheekbones that are not protruding and the central part and chin are long. The side of the face is narrow, so the overall filling is long, so there's an intelligent image, but it can be seen as presbyopia. To compensate for this, it's recommended to apply horizontally from the inside to the outside based on the highest part of the cheekbones. If you apply blush in a horizontal long oval shape, you can cut off the line of sight that runs up and down. At this time, if you connect the center of the nose or apply under the chin together, you can make it look much shorter. If you apply the blush in an oblique line from the outside to give an elegant look, it may make your face look longer, so it'd be good to refer to this point when blushing. Wednesday, December 27th, 5 p.m. PST time, we're gonna go live. We'll be looking forward to your participation and see you on live. Next is the lozenge face shape. There's no side jawbone, but the cheekbones are protruding so the front chin can look pointed. You can think of it as a diamond-shaped face. It's recommended to apply the blush on the cheeks, hairline, and under the chin. Since it spreads from top to bottom and both sides, it's good to apply the blush around that area. In the case of the forehead, it may look narrow, so it's good to make both sides of the forehead wider. If you focus on the center part, it can make your face look longer, so I think it'd be better to refer to this part when applying the blush. Like this, I talked about the blush replacement that suits each face shape. Depending on the location, the blusher gives different feel, so I'll briefly tell you what it looks like. The center. The center, which is the most common place to apply blush, is the area where the color can be seen the best, so it's the area that can look the most vibrant. So this area is recommended for those who have a lot of concerns about dull skin tone or those who want to create a lively look. Applying blush to the entire cheek area of the face can improve dull skin very effectively, so you can create the most harmonious and elegant calm feeling. This point is to apply bright colors subtly. Blusher that follows the cheekbones on the side of the face in an oblique line can create a slim face without looking like the side cheeks are fat. This placement is recommended for those who want to have a slimmer looking face or those who want to create a sophisticated look. Blushers on the under eye area is often referred to as hangover makeup. The cheekbones in front look plump and give a lively and youthful look. It goes well with a cute and lovely image and even those who are worried about dark circles under the eye can make up for the disadvantages by applying blush on this area. And now let me finish the video by showing you how to do the blusher. First of all, when applying blush, it's recommended to use a blush brush with a size of about a quarter of the palm rather than using a brush that is too large. 
When applying the blush in the center, it's recommended to apply it while tapping the center of the cheek with a brush lying down and then finish by sweeping the blush so that the border is natural. When applying blush from the inside to the outside, it's recommended to lay the brush horizontally and apply it lightly first, then apply it a little darker only on the front side. When applying blush from the outside to the inside, I recommend holding the brush upside down, gently blending it inward, and then applying it once more from the outside. At this time, it's good to make it blend well with the shading. Like this, I showed you the blushes that goes well with different face shape, the expressions given by the blush placement, and how to. These days, blush makeup is popular, and depending on the shape of the face, the position is suited well, and the feeling it gives are definitely different. So I wanted to tell you about blusher. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.